Right, first video on the channel. Yeah, I'm gonna be all over the place, basically. Today we're gonna to be removing the badges on the 86. We're gonna be removing the Toyota badge and also the 86 badge on the other side. It's gonna be pretty easy. Uh, I'll show you what stuff I'm gonna use. It shouldn't be a long video. It's just a, it's a pretty simple job and it came out perfectly. It came out absolutely brilliantly. So enjoy and here you go. Right, so we're basically gonna to wanna to remove it so there's no marks, no stains, and this is exactly how to do that. You know, I want to start off by using some Auto Glim tar remover or something like that. Uh, I find the Auto Glim tar remover really good; it does the job perfectly. And you're basically going to want to kind of put it around the edge of like the symbols and just let it sink in for a couple of minutes, really, just until it starts to dry off a little bit. And then you want to going to grab a heat gun and just kind of give it a blow, uh, not too close. You know what I mean? Just enough to get it warm as well. Just for long enough to get it warm, and you can see I've already done that. And then, um, yeah, you want to just peel it away. I've used like a plasterer's scraper here, but probably not the best. I was careful, more careful than it looks, to not damage the car. But basically, you just kind of want to scrape away at it. And um, yeah, peel it. I think I got it that warm that it's really easily movable. Uh, just heat it up, put plenty of that tar remover on, and it, it should just come straight off just by, by moving it with your hand. Right, I've got it off. Um, you just, as you can see, there's still obviously this sticker on there, so you just want to put a bit more tar remover on it. And once again, let that sit in. That's a terrible job of putting tar remover on. It's going all over the place, but you just kind of want to squirt a bit on there and just let it sit in um, and kind of pick away at it first before you try using any kind of sponge or anything. You can get most of it off with your fingers, especially with the heat gun. You can see there, I'm just giving it a quick rub and it's, it's coming straight off. It's as easy as that, really. Just rub it down. Try not to use your nail too much because you can kind of scar the paint if you kind of like rub it loads with your nail. So just, just rub it off with your thumb. Um, I've gone over there, I've, I've done that. Just put a bit more tire remover, get all that grease off. You don't want any grease on it. You just want to get it all clean, get it all kind of looking like there's no glue, no, no that stick left on there, no that, um, I don't know what they use. It's like a like a weird shit that they use, you get it all off. Um, you can see once you've rubbed it all down and everything, it looks great. So I'm gonna move on to the one on the other side. That one's probably the easier one, the Toyota. The 86 is a little bit harder because there's a bit of a weak point between the T and the symbol, the 86 symbol. Um, so if you're peeling it up, you just gotta make sure you get it all off kind of at the same time. I'm like a cow. Yes. There you go, the cat. Um, so I'm onto waxing it now. Just giving it a wax kind of gives it a nice clean look. You see there, it's, it looks really good. No marks, no stains, no like outline. I mean, this car's 2013, so it's it's not like, like old, but it's not too new either. And yeah, no sun scorching or anything. It's great. There you go, it looks absolutely amazing. Incredible. Anyway, I hope you like the video. That's it, it's simple and easy.